What's up gamers? Welcome back to another episode of Call of Juarez Gunslinger. Pella macam ni kan Call of Juarez Gunslinger ni mati dua episode lagi so kita. Bayi video baru ni ada orang lekang kanan orang ni kira like ya share ya, pina orang lekang putar ni tekan share ni tu subscribe je ya. Pina without wasting any time gets started. Continue. Will you get those suckers? It took me a couple of days to track the Daltons down. They can't get away with this. And in that know. time, a whole posse of local vigilantes offered to lend a hand. We'll track them to the ends of the earth. They seemed as determined as me to find those outlaws. But as we headed into those swamps, it was like I had my own private army. There was no way those boys were getting away this time. It was early fall, right? Beautiful time of year. At least you had the weather on your side. Not by my recollection. It was damp and foggy as hell. Tulatnya korban. Terima kasih telah memberikan. Pada kakak. It was tough to stay on a true course, so we kept an eye out for landmarks. Oh, refresh nak ke nice ya tu. Oh, ini orang dah ada mien ni beri kita. Ini mana dia cari macam tu? Ada apa dia ni? It was autumn. The maple trees were in full color. Red as blood. The rains that year were torrential, so the whole area was flooded. The vigilantes had spread out wide, and pretty soon I couldn't see anybody. I wondered why my compatriots didn't come running when they heard the shots. Big shot, man. So did you find the Daltons? Not yet.
Warte, wo ist, wo ist weg? Enforcements was nowhere to be seen. Point B and I was under serious attack. But the letter did. The letter did not. Yeah, that was more like that. I'm not kidding. Where did everybody go? to get a better view. <laughs> uh, just ended up falling inside. So, how did you get out? The barn doors was open. About right then, I saw some suspicious characters running through the bushes. Of course, I followed them. Goddamn swamp was like a goddamn maze, and pretty soon I had no goddamn idea where I was. Steve? I didn't go to the wrong one. So I just started walking, and pretty soon I. They were not going to the wrong one. <laughs> Indians surrounded me from all sides. Engines? There were Indians. No. I just wanted to make sure Steve was paying attention. Now where was I? You were following the Daltons through a swamp? That's right. See, Steve? Dwight's paying attention. No, oh, I'm listening. I, I, I was just uh, resting my eyes. So, where was I? The Daltons. Right. See, there's a reason so many outlaw gangs are made up of brothers. Being a brother is a very sacred thing. It's a bond like no other.
ഉള്ള ഏരിയയിൽ വേറെ ഒന്നും ഇല്ല Tienen la tienen la tienen la tienen la ¿Qué tal por la gata? Pero de todo, está no volviendo a todo I knew those Dalton boys were out there somewhere, standing together against anyone who would threaten them. Yeah, they got him. Shotgun. And that's when I saw it. A goddamn steamboat. A steamboat? In a swamp? Yeah, Steve, but this wasn't much more than a wreck, really. But how'd a damn steamboat end up in the swamps? 
Yes, it floated off during the flood of 89. Oh. Like now, was it a stern wheeler or, or a side wheeler? What, what? Does that really make a difference, Steve? It was a steamboat with a goddamn army on board. Huh? It was then that a fusillade of bullets come raining down from our house. And those vigilantes that accompanied me weren't anywhere to be found. But among those men that were shooting me, I thought I saw some familiar faces. Ini mana lekar amat ya, mana le? Sounds like you don't give up too easy. That's the kind of man I am. I set out to do something. I do it. Surrender just ain't in my nature. Plus, I'm stubborn as hell. Mana ada tenaga terus sama. Much to my relief, the vigilantes finally arrived. Their leader motioned at a cabin in the middle of the top deck, pointing me directly at the Daltons. I finally had them, after months of dogged pursuit. Huh. But it turned 
found out that they had me. Uh, oh. I'm sending you to hell. Yeah, I don't know what they made. The Daltons had played me like a fiddle. Apparently, the vigilantes were on their damn payroll. They didn't just want to shoot me. They wanted to burn me alive. But finding my way out of a burning labyrinth proved to be quite a challenge. It was a riverboat, right? I mean, it's not like it was a goddamn ocean. Well, oh, yeah, but I was in a fight. Did you hear about that ship that's going to launch next year? Largest one in the world. Um, uh, you're well, talking about the Titanic. You ask me, it's too blessed big. I don't <coughs> think it'll even float. So anyway... Don't be stupid, Steve. They know what they're doing. They say that the Titanic is unsafe. Oh, God. But getting back to that steamboat, how did you get off it, Mr. Grease? I took in a lot of smoke that day, so I admit my recollection might be a bit hazy. But somehow I managed to finally disembark. And I was coughing up smoke and pretty damn pissed. I was done playing games with those boys. this once and for all. Come at me one at a time. They were in this together. Two brothers side by side determined to take me down. Confident that this time the odds were on their side. for those two. If they'd only known that Emmett was still alive despite his wounds. Paroled 14 years later, he moved to California and sold real estate and lived off the legend of that fateful day. And the tragic death of his two brothers. My own brothers died tragically as well, truth be told. It was 1868 and me and my older brothers were pulling a tidy profit running cattle into Juarez, Mexico. One night after my brothers retired for the evening, I found a little poker game in a cantina with a couple of cowboys. And I just couldn't lose. I even won an old Spanish coin that had to be a hundred years old. Well, I was mighty pleased with myself the next morning as my brothers and I rode for Texas. But before we crossed the border, those cowboys caught up with us. It was Johnny Ringo, Roscoe Bob Bryant, and another asshole named Jim. They wanted their money back and everything else we had including our lives, as those boys didn't want us coming for them later. Bob put that old Spanish coin in my mouth and said, I won't have it said that I left you with nothing, boy. Well, those horses bolted, and there we hung as those bastards rode away. The branch finally snapped under the weight of the three of us, but me and my older brothers were bigger and heavier. They were already dead. And right then, I swore to myself that I would avenge them. Ringo, you know about. 
But Bob eluded me, until I heard he was riding with the Wild Bunch. I'd been on their trail for months, ever since they left their hideout in the Bighorn Mountains. Led by Butch Cassidy, they were a loose association of outlaws who robbed banks and trains from Colorado to Montana. Among them was the Sundance Kid and that murderous hombre I was tracking, Roscoe Bob Bryant. Are you a part of that giant Pinkerton posse after the Wild Bunch? No, boy. A circus like that would have slowed me down. Besides, I wanted Bryant all to myself. They blew the bridge with the intention of forcing the train to stop. Well, I assumed the Wild Bunch was likely in the still intact part of the train high above. So I had no choice but to make my way up through the passenger cars dangling down. I was determined to make that some bitch Bob pay for what he did to my brothers. came upon a few members of the gang and had no choice but to dispatch them. From there, I had to negotiate an even more precarious route. But first, I would need to get my ass out of there. I jumped from the frying pan into the fire as the train was clearly fixing to fall. I had found the gang, but in order to find old Bob, I needed to fight my way forward past a whole passel of desperados. Outside, inside, any way I could, I made my way towards my friend. Well, what about the passengers? It was mostly a freight train, as I recall. There were no passengers aboard that day. Oh. As I mentioned before, I am not fond of heights, but I was too busy dodging bullets to worry about falling to my death. Odds were I was likely to die that day anyway, so I was determined to take down as many of those bastards as I could.
ഇത് റിയൽ സ്റ്റോറി ബേസ് ചെയ്തുള്ള ഗെയിമാണ് ഇവിടെ ക്ലെയിം ചെയ്യാം I kept hoping the law would show up and give me a hand. Man, like that giant Pinkerton posse that I read about. Did they come riding in? Guns are blazing to help? Help? From the Pinkertons? No, son. I had to fight the wild bunch all by my lonesome. As usual. <laughs> Who the hell is that? stragglers were left and i had to cut them down pronto if i was going to stay on the bob's trail I silenced all those guns. I went searching for my nemesis, determined to finally have my justice. But the only survivor who welcomed me was George Flatnose Curry. Who is he? Got him. The fastest gun in the gang. Right after Sundance, I mean. And Kid Curry, and maybe Elsie Lay. Though some folks might dispute that. same day Butch Cassidy and the Sundance Kid decided to leave the Wild Bunch behind and decamp for South America. They ended up living down there for many years but I'm sure you already know all about that. I 
I tried to find Bob Bryant, but it was as if he'd disappeared. Sometime later, I heard the Wild Bunch was back together. Kid Curry escaped from jail, and now he was running the whole shebang. So I took to their trail, as I was still in pursuit of my brother's killer and hoped that he was back with them. That Kid Curry's kind of crazy, ain't he? Don't let him hear you say that. Anyways, I tracked those boys to a camp right outside Parachute, Colorado. Being outnumbered, I didn't bother with a warning shot. I just started taking those bastards down. Old Bob wasn't among them, and neither was Kid Curry. I could sense them close by, however, plotting something nasty. I just needed a clue as to their whereabouts. map with their bold plan clearly marked. This time they were fixing to blow up a train trestle. Property of the Union Pacific. The plan clearly indicated how they were fixing to undermine several of the weakest wooden supports. Kid Curry was considered the wildest of the wild bunch. It was said that he fathered 85 bastard children, though some say it was only five. <clears throat> Kid Curry had bragged to a whore how he was going to rob a train heading to the U.S. Mint in Denver. And that whore, Fat Sally, she told me. The bridge was rigged with dynamite, so I decided I'd best be careful confronting those bastards. And I made it a point to remove any dynamite that I came across. A moment later, I saw a ladder that somehow had escaped my attention. Don't you blow us up now. But the Wild Bunch did not take kindly to my presence and attempted to blow my head off. It appeared the kid had found a number of new recruits to bolster their ranks. Yes, there's always desperate men willing to trade their lives for stolen treasure. What happened next? Well, having removed the first bottle of dynamite, I decided I might as well remove the other one. Once that was done, I figured I'd find my way from there.
up, no good. So, what happened then? Had to remove more of that damn dynamite. It must have been terrifying trying to make your way across. I was sweating it a bit, but then I noticed a footbridge tied up on high, so I shot the rope. So that was all the dynamite? Funny you should mention that, darling. As actually there was a fourth charge impeding my progress. Taylor. Once I removed it, my path was pretty clear. proceeded onward and realized that that way just wasn't going to work. I needed an alternate path forward. Now what are you doing? What are you doing? താഴെ എണ്ണ എന്നല്ല അപ്പുറത്ത് ചാടിയാണ് പേട്ട കൊന്നേക്കില്ലേ burning fuse and it was moving fast as hell. I had to catch it. <sighs> the 
burning fuse was so damn quick, I had to run like the wind. I almost had it, but no! Thought I was gonna have a coronary when I lost sight of those sparks. My heart was pounding like a sledgehammer. <clears throat> I knew that failure meant boom! Then, finally, at the last moment, Whew. <laughs> of course, I was successful, or clearly I wouldn't be talking to you folks here today. Naturally, I removed the last dynamite charge. Yeah, but... Well, it was a touching reunion. But by this time, I was thoroughly exhausted and dragging my ass as I was not a young man anymore. Just when I thought things couldn't get worse, Kid Curry opened up on me with a goddamn Gatling gun. It was hidden in this tunnel and pretty well shielded. Oh. Kid Curry.
brought that tunnel down. And that's when I met Kid Curry himself. He had decided to stop pussyfooting around and deal with me personally. as he was, I was just a bit faster. And as he lay wounded, I demanded to know the whereabouts of Roscoe Bob Bryant. He shouted at me. Is that what this is about? Bob went with Butch's Sundance to South America. You ain't never finding him. Those were his last words. If you like this video, please like and share it. Please subscribe to this video. Please like and 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 subscribe to this video. Check out here. Yeah. Ta-da!